three years after the cancellation of Daredevil, the cast of the Daredevil TV series returns to thank the fans for all of their continuing support and for managing to make the TV series top the Nielsen's top 10. It really was not too long ago that we found out about Deadline reporting that Daredevil was back in Nielsen's top 10 ratings for the year. Three years after cancellation, it managed to enter the top 10. And it also managed to do this with a pretty competitive scene on Netflix. I mean, we're talking about the second season of The Witcher, which just hit, the new season of Cobra Kai, and of course, the upcoming release of Peacemaker. So there was a lot going on that people were keeping their eye on. Daredevil managing to get 195 million minutes in one week, right around Christmas, is huge and that's what landed it in the eighth spot ever since then people associated with the series have expressed a huge amount of thanks to the fans and of course everybody for their continued support dobra ann wool who of course played karen vincent d'onofrio who played the kingpin and even the showrunner of the series stefan de knight chimed in on this thanking everybody so again this is pretty big you know it's huge as a matter of fact i've talked about it before if you can manage to somehow do this, this puts you right back on the radar. There's not many things you hear about today that three, four, five, six, seven years after cancellation, even one year after cancellation, where they get onto a streaming service or they rebound in such a huge way. But this has. And if you look at some of the numbers, again, I can't disclose them officially what they are, but if you look at Daredevil three years after, and how they're landing in terms of views across everything and what's going on, it's actually managing to outperform other Marvel series upon their release. That's huge. People care. I think the interest from Spider-Man and quite clearly Hawkeye from Kingpin has translated very well over to this series and has shown Marvel Studios that interest in these characters is still very much here for everybody. And I honestly think that this is going to continue to be a trend in regards to Daredevil. I think you're going to start seeing things like this constantly. People talking about it and just wait till Spider-Man No Way Home releases at home. And people pick it up and they go, oh wow, okay, yeah. Man, maybe I should go watch that Daredevil. We're going to be back at the same scenario again. People are going to do it. Especially when we start hearing, oh, guess what? Daredevil's going to appear in this project. Well, it's going to happen again. Same thing with the upcoming Echo series. When Fisk is confirmed to appear in that, you know, that's going to be a major factor. Like, this series isn't going anywhere. It's crazy to think that two years from now, five years after cancellation, this thing will still be talked about and have buzz on the internet. Like, kind of amazing.